Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're all keeping well on Monday the 22nd of August. I'm going to be painting on this old painting um, that I did quite a while ago and um, <coughs> I didn't particularly like it when I did it so um, yeah I'm going to uh, go over it because I'm running out of space for new canvases in my studio. I'm going to have to get some sold I think at some point. So I've just uh, sanded it over, just to get rid of some of the impasto. And the size is, is reasonably big, it's 24 by 20 inches I think. Looking at it, let's have a look. Trusty yardstick. Yeah, 24 by 20, not a bad guess. And then off we go. On my palette I've got some Payne's Grey, Sap Green with some uh, Crimson mixed into it. I've got some Cobalt Blue with Titanium White and Linseed Oil as my medium. I might start putting the list of colours up, I don't know. In case there is someone who's remotely interested in what colours I'm using. So anyway, off we go. I might just uh, try my best to ignore that horizon. So just bring the horizon a bit lower, just down here. Some titanium white on. Some people might think it's sacrilege painting over things, which I, I suppose it is in a way. But uh, needs must. Out with the old, in with the new. So that's going to make my horizon just about there. I'll get my flat brush. Start adding some titanium white on there. Turn that sky up a bit. Yeah, I didn't do any painting over the weekend. I was busy with the RSPB all weekend, which was good. Enjoyed it. It's nice getting out. Can't sit in the studio all the time. Well, I'll put some of that um, cobalt blue up here. Nice back painting again. Feels good. If I haven't painted for a couple of days, I get quite fidgety. Uh, might put some uh, Payne's Grey up here. A bit of anger in the sky. Yeah, I might do something. Uh, and do, do another ship, as they've turned out quite well of late. So yeah, I'll get the sky on first and then uh, add a ship on. Push a quick wipe. It's quite interesting there, that bit of cloud. Camera's on, yeah, it is. Thought it had a clicking sound then. I thought it was my camera, but I think it's just my microphone 
knocking against something as I paint. Right, I'll do that for now. Plonk a bit of Payne's grey down, put some here in the foreground. Cuts, it's lousy weather out there today. Proper painting weather in the studio. The nights are drawing in a bit, very nearly autumn already. Where has the time gone? There we go, that's a start. <coughs> Another wipe. Something went bump in the night for me on uh, Saturday. Well, I should say bump in the day. It first happened, I think it was about six o'clock at night. I was sat in the lounge. Uh, my wife was out and about somewhere. She might have been at the gym or something like that. And um, I heard this um, old Nokia ringtone. You know, did dee 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 you know how it goes. I thought that's odd because I don't even have a mobile. I don't really bother with mobiles and uh, this phone we're going. And uh, it was coming from the bedroom and I went to find the source of it and I couldn't find anything. But it's just, dee -dee 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 -dee, you know, quite loud and everything. And uh, I thought, well, I wonder if it's coming from, I had a, I've got a suitcase. I thought, I wonder if it's coming from in there. And uh, I started looking for it, and it stopped this dee -dee -dee -dee, this uh, ringtone. So I thought, oh, sod it. So I went back into the lounge. I thought it was, it was very weird. So um, anyway, um, three o'clock in the morning, it's Sunday morning, it happened again. Oh, oh bloody hell. So um, I... Um, Went looking for it again in the bedroom, you know, rooting through, and uh, opened up my suitcase and it went did it did it did it did it did it did it and all the rest of it. And as I opened the suitcase up, I was rifling through it. It stopped ringing, and so right, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So um, I you know, got into the suitcase and I found this uh, mobile phone that I haven't used for a few years now and I haven't charged it or anything like that. And it was an old um, Nokia, was it 3210, something like that, an old vintage one. And obviously I haven't charged it for about five years or so, a flat battery. So it was very mysterious why it should start ringing when it's got no battery and hasn't had battery for years and it was very strange. So yeah, the, you know, there might be a rational explanation, but it was odd, very strange. And um, you know, I've, I've kept this phone nearby in case it happens again. And yesterday, I actually opened the phone up. It hasn't even got a, uh, hasn't even got a SIM card in it. So, come to be anyone phoning it. So it was a bit odd. So if, if anyone, any wizards out there on mobile phones know what it was, feel free to let me know. Anyway, I'll uh, start doing a, a ship now. Let's get my uh, palette knife and find it. Start whacking. Let's put some of this uh, green down. I've got a little bit of bird tumber as well. I'm just mixing in with the green. And put the ship a 
about there, I should think. There we go, there's the start of a hull of sorts. Oh, that's my dog going, I do apologise. Norman. Oh, and the rest have joined in, isn't that great? I'm sorry. Might be some at the door, but it's going to ignore it because I'm painting. An un unanswered door is a happy door. I might put some uh, sails and stuff on. Bit of rigging, masts. <laughs> Put some just there like that. And there. God, I can hear the rain outside, it's pretty nasty. Something there as well. There we go. Let's keep knife in it on. So far so good, and I'll leave that for now. I'll come back to that. So I don't want to overdo it. Start adding some waves and things and use the palette knife just for some titanium white and it's it's blending with the the green that's already on the canvas reasonably nicely Be, uh, gives you a lot of freedom. There we are, that's uh, I was going to say it's a star, but it's a middle bit. Yeah, speaking of ghosts and things, um, I used to uh, do a lot of camping and bunk housing and all sorts of stuff and we're in this particular bunkhouse and um, it was my first time there, it was, it was quite spooky this place, it felt odd so um, and that, that was back when I, uh, I used to camp for a living and we, we were there, there was me member staff and someone else and I'd gone to bed and it was only a little pokey room and it was a shared room so there were these like three beds or whatever and they were, it was an old barn so it's quite uh, dark and dingy and stood in the corner it was, it was about two in the morning I, I woke up that's one in the morning and there was a figure stood in the corner of this bloody uh, bunkhouse and it scared the living crap out of me. You know, it was, it was like a monk, a hooded figure. Couldn't see its face. It was just this uh, shape of a person. And uh, I don't know if you've ever been so scared that you can't move. I was just rigid with fear. And, you know, just um, 
put my head under the covers hoping it'll go away and I kept looking and peeking out and it was still there this figure stood there watching me it was very strange so um, anyway um, time went on and it was hours and hours and I couldn't sleep with this figure watching I was so terrified and I couldn't even alert the people I was with I was that scared so um, anyway a few hours went by and the sun started to come up and light started to fill the room and it, uh, yeah, it must have been about six in the morning at this point you know I hadn't slept for five hours or four hours or whatever because this flipping ghost that figure stood there and uh, so the sun came up and the figure was actually a coat hanging up <laughs> in the corner of the room <laughs> it scared the bloody crap out of me I couldn't believe it so um, <laughs> all the people I was with they all got up and I hadn't slept for hours you know I had about two hours sleep and I was knackered <laughs> I did laugh when I told him. <laughs> oh, bloody camera cut out. As it said, uh, memory card full. I'd forgotten to um, erase some of my last work. But anyway, so there might be a slight jump, so I apologise. Just put some uh, rigging on and all that business, some uh, ropes and lines going up. So anyway, yeah, that bloody um, jacket hanging up scared the living daylights out of me. Right, a bit more Payne's Grey down here, I feel. Bear with me for not talking. Concentrate on what I'm doing a bit. Alright, give me brush and things a wipe. Need some more kitchen roll, but very low. Keep forgetting to get some. It's not looking too bad. Some waves on. Mm. more titanium white actually on my palette
not too bad not perfect but it'll do since when is it meant to be perfect nothing's perfect distant waves Not interesting bit of blue across there which is helpful Right, so I think, I wonder, I might put some sails on, just see what happens. Yeah, I put some sheets up there. Yeah, start down here, just that. Another wipe. And put a sheet there. As I often say, this isn't a tutorial. It's just uh, me painting and chatting. So this isn't necessarily the textbook way of doing things. It's not necessarily a good way of doing things. It's just the way I do it. I'm not in the business of teaching people how to paint. I just do it. It's all about painting and learning as you go on. Some of the green, well, as you can see, is merged with the titanium wire. It's quite a nice effect that can live with that. That is some more titanium wire to my palette in a sec. Not looking too bad. And also, also, you know, I don't know a vast amount about ships. I've been lived in Derbyshire all my life. That's far away from the sea as you can get. So this isn't, you know, someone like a naval historian will look at this and think what the hell it's just the way I see ships it's uh, hardly a technical drawing right, another sail there perhaps Maybe a little one there. There we go. Looking not too bad. Tall ship. Could be a, I don't know, tea clipper or a warship of some sort. bad some quite nice impasto on those sails yeah that'll do for now I reckon Put something just there like that. Yeah, it's looking reasonably good. And I'll put another ship here. I'll just use my tiny palette knife, I think. About there, I should think. Just a blob, that's all it is, that's all it needs, it just fools the eye into thinking there's something there, 
when there isn't check my camera's still on which it is putting a couple of sails on there as well that distant ship it's just a smudge that's all it is Not bad, not bad. I'll put another mass just there, I think. Maybe a sail or two as well. There we are. That'll do it. Right, quick wipe of the part now. Sorry, bending down in front of the camera every two minutes. Not me, a small mountain of. Uh, used kitchen towel to keep her uh, grabbing hold of and referring to to wipe my knives right then let's have a look sort this sky out a bit let's get my long handled brush just put some paint down few swirls and stuff not bad not bad at all it's not perfect as I say but it'll do a few lumps and bumps where the old painting is just under there but that's uh, no big drama strokes going on. I do like long handle brushes. Quick wipe again. Very nearly there, I reckon. Not giving the sky any thought, just waving my stick about. Almost there. Thank 
you uh, so much for all of your likes and your comments and subscribing. It really does mean a lot. I think I'm nearly at 450, something like that. Getting close. Let's turn that up a bit. Take some of that texture out. Ah, yeah, nearly there. Very nearly there, actually. Sort this uh, sea out a bit. It might be that I have to go over the sea at, the, at a later date. So I'm not entirely happy with the sea just yet. But we'll carry on chipping away at it. Some uh, small breakers just here. Yeah, I don't know if um, the ship might be a bit tall. Perspective might be a bit, uh, just a little bit off. So I'll go like that, see what that does. Now let's have a think, let's think about this. Come on, John. Another mast or two just here, I reckon. Something there, something there, another thing there, maybe. A bit more titanium white. It's a bit like a naval battle, this painting. And a couple more sails, I reckon. One there. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that the ship was a bit, bit thin and narrow. Oh, it might have gone the other way now. It might be a bit wide, but we'll see. If it has, it's no drama. Yeah, I, th I think that's a bit, a little bit better. I don't know yet. Time will tell. looking reasonably good. Not sure about that sail there. I'm have to get rid of that. Put something there like that. Yeah, it's that. It's kind of in front of everything. I'll get rid. Use my long handled brush. Just Turn it into the sky. I 
and I'll just go like that. There we are. That's uh, not bad, not perfect, but it's not bad. I'll put some more lines and stuff going there. We're getting there nicely. Right, time to add some highlights to the ship. Just put some bits of white there. Oh, I'm grubby and all, but you can spot a oil painter and I'm covered in paint all the time. <sighs> oh, it's looking not bad. Someone asked me yesterday, where did my ship paintings come from? And uh, I gave them the short answer was, I haven't a clue, I really don't know. It's somewhere in my mind. I suppose I like, you know, I like the sea and I like ships and I like naval history. But yeah, I just suddenly started doing them. So, yeah, I think we're nearly there. As I say, I might have to uh, improve the seat at a later date. I'll just put a bit more waves on. Yeah, if you've got any ghost stories, let me know. I do enjoy listening to ghost stories. Being a painter, I'm very open-minded to such things. A couple more breakers on there. Yeah, I think we're just about there, you know. Not gonna overdo it. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Right, I think that looks just about dandy. Yeah, I'll call that a day for now, as I say. Might come back to it. So yeah, I think we're done. I hope you like. Let me know in the comments what you think, ways I can improve. So yeah, that looks just about dandy. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. And don't forget, I'm on Facebook. Just put John Kidd Artist in. Um, I'm on Instagram and johnkidd.co.uk. Just put my name into Google and I'll show up. You might have to put John Kid Artist because there's lots of people called John Kid.
but there's, uh, as far as I know, there's no other painters. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.